Jeffrey, I think it's best if you go and pick Lucy up from the Norbrick Castle. Go now. You, uh, you know Stan, of course. He has eaten. Prime Minister. Well, well, here we are then. Sorry, sorry, I got held up. Is, is this me, David? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, all right, thank you. Sit down, sit down. <clears throat> Apologies, Willie. How are you? Oh, fine, Arthur. You? Oh, never better. Never better. So, uh -huh. welcome. Uh -huh. What if it? The rep. Oh, yes, yes. Nice of you to turn out for my reception committee this morning. Whose idea was the eggs? I don't honestly know. I argued against them. I think some of the lads wanted them hard-boiled. Bloody disgrace. Another soup for the cleaners. Enjoy your fling while it lasts. What do you eat, Arthur? Oh, nothing heavy. Uh... Thank you, David. I tell you what, I tell you what I wouldn't mind. No pickled onion. Phil. Did you bring the pickled onions? Yes, sir. Otherwise, we're fine now, thanks. Oh, thank you. And a bottle of ale, eh? Now then, Willie. What are we going to do about this resolution of yours? I hope we're going to pass it, Arthur. You think that's likely, Tom? Well, that's up to conference, Prime Minister. Oh, yes, yes. Mm, conference. But, uh, the NEC oppose it, don't they? Not all of us, Arthur. Oh, I didn't expect you to, Winifred. Well, the NEC will ask for it to be remitted so that it can be examined more closely and costed. Thank you. How about the engineers? Hard to say. They meet tomorrow. I think they'll like it. <clears throat> We've had two full-scale defence reviews since we came back, will you? We've clawed the best part of a thousand millions out of the services, but it's not a bottomless pool. There's no way to get any more just now. Well, my resolution says there is. By withdrawing from NATO, that isn't a possibility, will it? Well, I'll tell you something else that isn't a possibility, Arthur. My one and three quarter million members being thrown out of work. Or working for peanuts during your elasticated period of severe restraint. You've got to find the money somewhere. You've got to find it soon. The money isn't there. We need another year. Talk to the Chancellor. My members will be talking to the Chancellor next month. Fairly emphatically, I should imagine. Welcome. Tell Willie what effect, for example, a four-week dock strike would have on our trade account now. A four-week strike in the docks. We're off reading that out at the next cabinet meeting. David. What would it mean in terms of unemployment? I think it would depend what form it took. And what action you took to combat it. Yeah. You can set us back five years, Willie. More. I'm sorry, Arthur, but you can't go on squeezing the people who put you there in the first place. Oh, squeezing every section. Top and bottom. You know that. Oh, come on now, Arthur. <clears throat> I suspect Willie would feel a deal happier if he could feel certain we would still be holding the reins beyond the autumn. Autumn? What's the autumn got to do with it? Oh, you mean these, these election rumours? Ah. I think David's put his finger on it. The Tories have all but promised an immediate wage freeze the moment they get back. I can't see my members running the risk of letting that happen without getting in first with a substantial wage claim. There's no chance. It uh, might help if you could settle this election issue this week. <laughs> You've been reading too many Tory papers, Willie. <laughs> Thickstons? It's Newcastle, isn't it? North Riding. Is it? I must remember that. Tell you what, will you? Lucy will be back by now. Why don't you slip up and have a nightcap and say hello, eh? She's got one of these William Morris tray cloths she wants you to give to Elsie. Fine. Right. Let's do that. Well, nice to see you all. Mm. 
Sorry, I couldn't join you earlier. John, Malcolm, slip up and have a little chat later on, will you? Give us an hour or so. Mm. You know, <coughs> All right, I'll have one. No rest for the wicked, Stanley. <laughs> no. Bye, David. Bye, David.